up, you guys. Yay, 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 yay. This is your wing lady, and I'm back with another lit video. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Gosh, it's so cold here. Like, man, every girl gotta wear a sweater. Like, it's so cold. But it's December weather, so okay. We like it a little bit, just a little bit. You guys, you're welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you see my face, well, hi, you're welcome. Please click on the subscribe button and join our family. <laughs> and to my returning subscribers as well, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. Thank you. Today, without wasting any more time, we're going to be reviewing Barakat Rouge 540. Let's go. This is what the perfume looks like. Okay. Barakat. Oh, I don't know if it's focusing. Come on, focus, focus. Yeah. Anyway, this is Barakat Rouge 540. You can see. Yeah. So you take it out the box like this, like so. It has a sleeve. Okay. You take it out like this. Then you get to the juice. Which is where we're going because what's the perfume with all the packaging if it doesn't have good juice? This is the juice. You see that? This is Barakat. Oh, come on. Focus. Yeah. Barakat, which 540. It is supposedly a jeep for Mason Francis Christian Baccarat Rouge 540. I have Mason Francis Christian Baccarat Rouge 540. I also have an Abied Rouge, and I'm going to be making a new, an entirely new video comparing the three, Barakat, Baccarat, and an Abied. So stay tuned. But today I'm reviewing this Barakat Rouge 540. Okay, I got it for about 5,000 naira on Jumia. This perfume is so raved about. Everyone says it's so good. Oh, if you don't have Barakat, you don't, your perfume collection is not complete. You need Barakat, you need this, you need that. Fine, I went ahead and I got it. Not that I don't have the smell. I have the smell already, but I just wanted to see what the hype particularly is all about because everyone around me uses it. So I got my bottle and I'm wearing, I'm wearing it right now. I've sprayed it on for about an hour, an hour or so, yeah. So when you spray this perfume first, the first thing that hits you my Nigerian people, have you ever bought sachet tomato or thin tomatoes and you cut it open? You want to cook maybe rice. You know that first smell that hits your nose? I swear this is what I get. This is what hits my nose at that first moment when I spray this. However, when it dries down, when it dries down to about, let's say, an hour, an hour, 30 minutes, you then start to get deliciousness, you know, whips of de deliciousness. It smells sweet. It has some jasmine in it. So I think that hits you as well. Personally, I don't think I'm a big fan of jasmine notes, but this one is okay, I guess. Then this perfume has a way of smelling rich, you know, and expensive. Somehow when you put this on, it don't smell cheap. Okay? It just screams class. It just kind of screams, oh, you're a classy babe wearing this kind of classic perfume because it's well blended. It's well rounded. It's well blended, so let me spray it on. I sprayed it on actually, but just for the sake of, you know, the camera. The atomizer is really, really nice. It just goes whoop. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really nice. So once again, mm, that sachet tomato smell. God, I don't know what is smelling like tomato like sachet tomato or thin tomatoes in here but whatever note note it is it does bother me and it's the major reason why i don't like this perfume i'm sorry i just i know many people rave about barakat rouge barakat rouge barakat rouge but that top note that hits my nose once i spray it that thin tomato sachet tomato smell i cannot get over it until about one hour so if you want to use this perfume, and if that kind of note bothers you, I would suggest that just spray it for about one hour before you go out. Or better still, spray it overnight on your clothes. You know, this perfume lasts long. Like, it lasts way, way long. 
So if you want to get the best out of it, just spray it on your clothes overnight. Then hang your clothes somewhere. Then in the morning, just put it on and then go out. Then you'll be catching nice, nice waves of sweetness, of richness. You get the jasmine, you get some saffron, you got some sweet, sweet, sweet notes. But not immediately. For me, immediately, just attacks my nose with that tomato smell I can't seem to get behind. So I don't like it for that reason. Aside from that, it is very long lasting. Like it lasts so long. If you spray it on your clothes, it doesn't leave. 24 hours, it doesn't leave. 48 hours, it doesn't leave. If you spray it on your skin, in the morning till evening, let's say seven or eight hours. It does very well, seven or eight hours on the skin. Then after, let's say eight hours, then it becomes a skin scent. You just be catching some small waves, yeah. But it is long lasting and you can smell it from morning till night. Then something happens where you go nose blind to this perfume. Like when you spray it on, after a while, you feel like you can't smell it on yourself. And see, it is still there. It is just that you particularly that you sprayed it, you cannot smell it. Other people that are around you are sure smelling it. They are getting the deliciousness. It's just that you in particular, you cannot smell it. I think it's something with molecular fragrances or stuff. I read about it. I'm not sure. But if you spray it, be rest assured that it lasts long. Even if you can't smell it, other people are smelling it on you. So the notes, I've even forgotten. I'm supposed to read out the notes for you guys. I don't really care about the notes. I'm just, I care about what I get from the perfume. But anyway... The top notes are jasmine, saffron, the middle notes are ambergris and amber wood, and the base notes are cedar, fir, and resin. Okay, I um I think it's the amber that's giving me that tomato vibe. I'm not quite sure. I can't identify it. I'm serious. It just smells to me like such a tomato in the opening, but in the base, like I told you, it smells delicious after about an hour after it dries down. So that's it for me. That's Barakat's Rouge 540. Well, I don't know if you want to go with the hype and get it if you like. Some people sell it for about 10,000 naira. It has 10,000 naira on the streets of Instagram. So it depends on where you buy it. I bought mine from Jumia and it was just 5,000 naira. Just 5,000. So with shipping, I think shipping was 500 naira. So I, I don't know if you want to buy into the hype and get it. But if you are curious of this scent, I think you should just buy it yourself and try it out. Oh no, you may like it. it Maybe your favorite perfume, but it's not my own favorite perfume because of that tomato smell that bothers me. And so, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Like, subscribe. Don't you want to be seeing more of this sweet face eh? and great content. <laughs> God, you guys don't know how much amazing content I have planned for you. Eh? Interesting videos are coming. Like. Hey. <laughs> yeah please subscribe to the channel subscribe 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 and like the video if you like the video okay like it if you like it and until next time ciao